uh, what else has he done? He's a very funny guy. Please welcome Josh Rockless. Here he is. Thank you very much. That was good pronunciation of my last name. My girlfriend can't even pronounce my last name. It's, I'm just kidding. I don't have a girlfriend. Um, I do have an ex-girlfriend, though. And I called her last night, and I said, hey, it might be kind of funny if, if you came with me to the show, and you stood behind me the whole time, and every time I said a joke at the end, you said, ba-da-boom. I thought that would be kind of funny. But uh, it's funny. She said to me, I have a new boyfriend now. You shouldn't call me anymore. <laughs> So I'm alone up here, and uh, decided, instead of just doing jokes and stuff, I thought um, I would give you something educational, because I know what you're all thinking right now. You're thinking, what's in this purse? Um, I know you're thinking that because everybody asks me what's in my purse these days. They're always like, saying things like, uh, what the hell do you keep in that, you freak? Uh, so I thought I would educate you and give you something useful. Um, so this is my cell phone that I keep in there. Uh, I don't use it that much because I've read that using a cell phone costs brain cancer, and uh, kind of works out because nobody really calls me. Um, so it's good I'm gonna live a long, lonely life. Uh, this is a sheet of bounce fabric softener that I use to keep the contents of my purse fresh. Uh, I saw on the internet that a website, bounceeverywhere.com, and it lists all these different uses for bounce. It's not just for the dryer anymore. And you can put it under the seat of your car to keep your car fresh, or uh, in a diaper pail, or in the linen drawer of your kitchen. And I was all excited. I had my bounce sheet. And, and I realized that I didn't have any of these things. I don't have a car. I don't have a baby. I don't have anyone with whom to make a baby. I don't have a linen drawer in my kitchen. I have, I have like, some pizza, pizza napkins in the drawer. Um, so I started to get really sad, and I kept digging. And I found on a blog, oh, look, you can Use a bounce sheet to smooth out the static in your hair. <laughs> so I put it in my purse, and I, I found it's also useful for wiping away tears. <laughs> uh, these are my binoculars. They're mini binoculars, and I use them to see if the street car is coming, so I know whether to walk or just to wait for it. A lot of people, when they see them, they go, you're creepy. You probably use those to look into girls' windows from across the street. And it hurts me when they say that, because it's not true. I tried that, and the magnification isn't enough to be able to see, so I just use them for street cars. Uh, oh, I have sunglasses that I wear. I have to wear them like this, because the lenses are too heavy, and it pulls my ears back, and it hurts my face. And uh, I think that's a major design flaw in sunglasses, if they hurt your face. <laughs> this is my impression of the people who designed the sunglasses. These are the ultimate in UV radiation, and they will protect your eyes. Oh, you're going to wear them on your face. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. So I just carry them. And I have a coupon here for a spa. It's to get a massage. I've had this for three years. Uh, I like massages, but I can't really get them because I feel guilty about getting a massage. I feel like I should be massaging the other person back. And it turns out that's not what they want you to do at all. Uh, and this is my brochure that I made myself. It has information about uh, the pollution you emit when you idle your car. So when you're parked and you leave your engine on, it's polluting the air and you're wasting gas. So I give this to people when I see them idling, and it says, turn it off. And sometimes, a lot of times it works actually, uh, they will turn off their engine and they'll get out of their car <laughs> and they'll beat me up. But that's okay because I can wipe the blood away with my bounce sheet and then I have a fresh wound. <laughs> Thank you.